Can you, from your vantage points, describe the state of the uh, music industry in Canada during this time of COVID? Well, you know, all live events, as everyone know, have been, uh, you know, stopped altogether. So it's been devastating for uh, concert promoters, venue owners, musicians, uh, all the support technical crews uh, that support uh, all, the, all the artists. Uh, it, it's been a very, very tough go of it. I mean, the virtual performances, which we've organized a few of uh, or done the technical support here at Metalworks Production Group, uh, you know, they, they try to keep some semblance of uh, the, the spirit, I'll say, of uh, live performing, but it's, it's an uphill battle. So, uh, you know, the music industry has taken a very hard hit on the live side. For, on the flip side of that coin, there's also, you know, the, the, the spurring on of the, uh, the, the, the people that are thinking forward with ideas about new types of uh, presentation technologies and, and uh, integrating live and virtual performances that have been quite interesting. I've also seen an awful lot of investment funds flowing into the music industry, uh, both on the intellectual property side and on, I will call it the new horizon side or the, or the tech side, uh, looking to the future of entertainment. So it's not all doom and gloom. It's just an awful bad trough that we're going through right now, Tony. Uh, Alan Cross, uh, from your perspective, how do, you, how do you see things in the year 2020? Well, there is nothing like a crisis to focus the mind when it comes to moving forward. Uh, we have basically hit the accelerator when it comes to advancements in how music is performed, disseminated, consumed, and, well, just about everything. Uh, for a lot of musicians, it's been very dire. I know a number of musicians who are existing solely on their SOCAN checks, their, their radio airplay royalty checks, the performance rights checks. Um, I know a bunch of musicians who are on unemployment because they just don't have any work. I have a number of people in the live music venue business who are hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Uh, you know, even, you know, you look at the people at the Elmo Combo, for example, who invested $30 million into creating this fantastic new venue and they, they can't do anything. Uh, the smaller venues, a lot of them have gone into business. Some of them are being gobbled up by bigger entities. So there is a, a real shift in the way people are conducting the business of music these days. Now, as Gil says, a lot of people have really jumped into the tech side. So we have platforms like um, SideDoorAccess.com and ArteryEye.is who are offering these, these micro shows online for a, a small amount of money or a reasonable amount of money for artists who want to do shows online. However, there are some bigger shows. Dua Lipa is, is an example, where and BTS is another one. I mean, they're selling hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of tickets to these online events, and they're making a pretty good, uh, pretty good dollar. The problem is that you've got to be a pretty big act to be able to do that. However, it does show somewhere down the line that these virtual performances are here to stay and will continue to be a big deal. Uh, we've got uh, about just under a minute before the break. Uh, Alan Cross, it's a quick question to you. You mentioned uh, live ven venues being under a lot of pressure. Uh, do you see any, uh, is there anything around the corner that can give us some hope on that front? We just got to wait it out. I, I think that's the only thing. There are some big organizations in the United States, for example, that are talking about buying up these small venues for pennies on the dollar and turning them into some kind of large touring, uh, you know, circuit. Uh, others are just hoping that they can get through this. All right, we're going to continue with this conversation, both the good and the bad. After this break, we're here with Alan Cross and Gil Moore talking about the music industry. Stay with us until after the break. <laughs> 